Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Nolly. Welcome to a new week in my life. This week is going to be super exciting because number one, you probably have read the title, but I will definitely go in more depth about the next steps in my living situation and all of that kind of stuff. But it is Monday and it's 8.45 and I have my first graduation photo session of the season. February is pretty slow, so I'm just gonna have them pretty scattered out in February. Then once March hits, it's gonna be crazy. Um, but today it's just like kind of gloomy outside. I see some, some rain and I told my client that she could totally reschedule, but she said she had family in town so we can't reschedule. So we're just gonna have to make do. Yesterday was such a pretty day. I wish we had that weather for today, but that's okay. That shoot went so well. We definitely had a rough start, like not the photo shoot itself, but because the weather was like not looking so great, it was kind of drizzling and everything like that. I was a little nervous, but the light just looks so good when it's overcast because I always get that question, you know, what happens if it's like really cloudy the day of my grad shoot? I'm like, honestly, <laughs> the photos might even turn out better than you expect. So very, very happy with today's shoot and she was super sweet. And now I'm gonna go to FedEx because I need to return my fashion pass and then I want to still work out for the day. I think I might just do my walking pad because I have a video to edit and I need to reply to some emails and just do a lot of computer work. So I think I'm gonna do that. It's only 10 a.m. Feels like it should be noon, so that's kind of weird. Don't mind how messy my office is. It's pretty bad, I'll take care of it later, but I was uploading the photos from today's session. It's taking like so long, I don't know why. Oh, finally, thank goodness. I'm also editing this week's vlog. We hit 10K steps, y'all. We did it. I edited a vlog and now I'm gonna shower. I've been really wanting to shower ever since I got home from my shoe because it was so humid out today and I was like in this long sleep and I was just like, ugh, I just wanna shower, but I wanted to get some more movement in before I did. I wanna show you guys my favorite thing to do when I get in the shower. Just like drop a couple of drops of essential oil. This one's eucalyptus lemon, peppermint, rosemary, tea tree. Oh my God, all of that in one, okay. It says inhale and exhale. It just makes the shower smell like a spa and it's very, very relaxing. It's 1.41. I literally feel like this day has lasted five years. I don't know why, but I haven't felt this tired in like the middle of the day in so long. Not a great feeling, but we're gonna keep pushing through. I needed lunch and I don't really have that many groceries in my place. And then I was like, okay, since I'm not really eating dinner out, let's get lunch out. So I'm here at my favorite to-go lunch place, Yoroko. Their hours are so funky. And luckily I like did a quick search because they were literally closing at two and it's 1.43. So I was able to put my order in on time. And then I also did these like cool little braids. I don't know how I feel about it, but my hair is not doing so hot today. So I wanted to try something different. We'll see throughout the day if I like it or if I want to change it up. But my order is ready and five minutes so i'm gonna head in soon i'm very excited because i've actually been craving this for a couple days now every time i want it they're like closed i am so excited to eat this i got some salmon tuna spicy tuna it looks amazing it turned out to be such a beautiful day so i've just been creating so much content i wanted to show you guys some recent amazon finds i think i unboxed them in a previous vlog but i wanted to show you guys how i style them always wanted to try one of these onesie singlet kind of things i just think they look so cool and you can style them a bunch of different ways but i've always been like super scared because my biggest insecurity is like my stomach area so you know i just feel like a little bit exposed but it's honestly not that bad it kind of sucks you in a little Bit, so I love that. It just kind of feels like I'm wearing like a whole skims Spanx out. So that kind of feels weird, but I mean, whatever. But then this little sweater cropped cardigan thing, I feel like I'm a little late to this trend, but this is also from Amazon and I think it looks so cute paired together like this. I've also been really liking these headbands also from Amazon. And then for shoes, I just have on my New Balances with some like scrunchy socks but how cute is this fit turn the tv on for bachelor and made the couch all cozy i usually just throw a bunch of blankets before people come over oh my god my braid is like crazy right now um but it just like looks more cozy and also if they're gonna eat prevent spills all that kind of stuff good morning y'all happy tuesday i am doing a 
slicked back ponytail might turn into a slick back ponytail braid later on, but we'll just stick to a ponytail for now. It's definitely been a lot harder to stretch hair washing days these days because I'm working out um, almost every weekday. Got a really good workout in this morning. I just did a lot of like lunges and arm workouts. Here's my outfit of the morning. I guess afternoon, it's about to be 12. Um, and I'm headed to a coffee shop that I haven't been to yet. It's located in the Carpenter Hotel, and I think it's pronounced Hot L or Hotel. I don't even know. I'm wearing the bar sweatshirt. These are like always out of stock, so if you want them, I definitely recommend to join the wait list. Um, and then these Abercrombie jeans, I brought them out of retirement. They have this asymmetrical thing going on over there. And then my New Balance, I think 550s. They're kind of like a new neutral. Love it. Maybe shouldn't be wearing them because it's kind of rainy outside and I don't really want to get them dirty, but I feel like it just completes the outfit with the shoes. Then, of course, I have my faux len, as I call it. It is from DHgate, so not real. And then these earrings, super big, chunky hoops, are from Amazon. I don't know if I put this in the vlog, but I have been wearing big, chunky earrings in my second hole, and it's, like, kind of heavy, and it blocks, like, the scab of my first hole. Because if you haven't seen the previous vlogs, you wouldn't know that I got my ear hole stitched up, at least the first ear piercing that I've ever had. So they kind of look a little bit nasty, especially because I've been having a lot more days where I feel like I'm putting my hair up because like I said, I'm working out more and this is just a great way to like hide that scab. I'm gonna head out, meet my new photographer friend and hopefully get some caffeine running through my blood. It's four o'clock, I had like a Trader Joe's frozen meal for lunch and now I just got a little bit of sweet craving. So I am eating my favorite Girl Scout cookie Samoas. They're so good. Um, but I wanted to ask you guys something because earlier today I was like, Ryan, why haven't you asked me to be your Valentine? I've been seeing a lot of funny boyfriend girlfriend TikTok saying like on my way to ask my girlfriend of like five years to be my Valentine before she gets upset. And so I was like, why haven't you asked me to be your Valentine? And he was like, you ask people to be your Valentine on Valentine's Day. And then I was like, wait, you may have a point. Because if you think about it, like in school, you would give Valentines on Valentine's Day. So I'm kind of curious to hear what you guys think. Do you ask someone to be your Valentine? before Valentine's Day. Actually, I guess you kind of do because if you're not dating, you have to know so that you can get them like flowers or anything Valentine's gift related, I guess. Now his point's not as valid. <laughs> I'm also in a great mood because I feel like these past couple of weeks I've been stressing a little bit about my grad season because this year I raised my rate. I feel pretty established and really good about my work. And I think it was time to just, you know, raise them a little bit. So I did. And obviously, once you do that, you know, you may not be in some people's budgets. So to be totally transparent with you guys, I'm at 108 inquiries. So people have put their information to like hear more about rates and stuff. Um, and I have only booked, let's see, out of those 108, I booked 24. And I told Ryan this, I was like, what the heck is going on? I'm getting a little nervous. And he was saying some sales stuff. I don't even know how to like repeat it in the exact words that he did. But basically like that percentage is actually pretty good. So it made me feel a little bit better, but still I was freaking out because I was like, okay, what if it's my rates, blah, blah, like whatever. And I feel like in the past like two, three days, I've gotten a lot more inquiries and people are actually um, booking. And I've been trying to follow up with people that hadn't responded. So we are getting somewhere and March is almost fully booked and I'm so excited. I think I have five more slots. I could open more up depending on like what packages they want because last year I did back-to-back -back sessions. So I would do like an hour session. Then right after that, I would do like an hour and a half session or like an hour and an hour. So I could open more slots up, I guess, if people are really wanting to book in March, but we will see how that plays out um and i'm also just trying to get people to book earlier than later because it gets really hot in texas and 
I personally hate being outside when it's that hot because it's brutal. And then my client's makeup is like melting and the hair is just so hot and sweaty and it's just like not a great time to be outside unless you're like in the pool starting May in Austin. So I'm really, really trying to push for people to book earlier just because I don't want them to have to go through that during their graduate. So if you're graduating this year, definitely look for a photographer sooner than later because I know a lot of people that are like already booked up. It's a little bit later and I actually ended up braiding this ponytail. Not sure how I feel about it yet. Also not sure how I feel about this outfit. Basically, I'm going to a Galentine's event at Tipsy Alchemist. It's on Rainy Street. I don't really feel like drinking right now, but I do want to go and just see the girls. Um, my friend Kim is hosting it. And let me show you guys my outfit. Blazers from H&M. I actually bought it for my birthday and I never wore it, so thought it would be a great time to make use of it. I can't remember where this is from, but it's a cute little baby tee. Um, pants are Zara. I got some Knowles heels on from Dolce Vita. It's kind of out of my comfort zone, so maybe that's why I feel like so weird about it. But I think I just need to leave and like not think too much about it. But I'm gonna vlog on my iPhone just because I'm gonna Uber. I don't really like want to take my camera and I also don't really want to pay parking on my shoot. Good morning, it is Wednesday. Today I actually filmed my workout. I feel like I never do. It was finally empty in the gym, so I could. <laughs> I feel like it's pretty busy in the morning, so. But I've walked past the gym at night and it is 10 times worse. Last night before the event I went to, I was getting so anxious. I don't know why, like, was it the chai I drank earlier that day? I have no freaking clue. And I was like, oh, I kind of really, really don't want to go. Obviously, I want to see my friends, but like just that feeling of like anxiousness and you're like eh, I just want to stay home and like cuddle in blankets and feel calm and safe You know, but I ended up going and I was so happy that I did because I saw a lot of my Content creator friends that I haven't seen in a while and Kim did a really good job of just putting it all together um, I didn't drink last night just because I wasn't feeling too hot like I feel like if I'm already anxious I don't think alcohol is going to help that also my nails need so much help right now <laughs> Um, I just can't bring myself to actually do them. This hand has stayed on perfectly. And next time I do my own gel X, because I did these nails, by the way, if you guys didn't see my last vlog, but the next time I do my own gel X, I got a new UV lamp. So it's going to like stick on better just because I had so many air bubbles. So I feel like they're going to last a lot longer because whenever I've gotten gel X done at the salon, like they never really like pop off. But to be honest, my nails are so brittle. I'm trying so hard to like not break them. This nail was the first to pop off. So I just painted gel over it to like make it thicker and just like protect it while the other ones fall off. So I really need to do these and it's a rainy day and I'm gonna do a lot of admin work. I have this video that I'm like, do I post it, do I not? I didn't post it on Sunday. It was like during the like Texas freeze and I didn't really vlog that much but I did vlog when I went out on Rainy Street on Saturday and it's kind of like fun. I mean, it is shorter, but I did put a get ready with me video in there. So I don't know, I'm gonna decide today if I'm gonna post it or not. So if I do post it, I need to publish that, finish the edits. I do have a call later today and I'm actually heading out the door for another coffee meetup. I know you guys probably think I'm like fucking psycho because I'm like meeting up with people every day. I feel like my own friends are like, what the heck is going on? Like, why are you meeting up with someone new every single day? And I told you guys in like a couple vlogs back, but basically I was just feeling really lonely. And so I like texted everyone I knew and I was just like, hey, well, especially content creators because they are able to meet up in the day. And even my non-content creator friends, like I feel like they have breaks throughout the day or like they'll work from home, but like from a coffee shop. So we can make it work. But basically I text all my content creator friends to like hang out just cause I want a reason to get out of the house. And last week I had to reschedule all my coffee dates because 
the Texas freeze. So I'm booked and busy in the best way possible. I just also like to keep connections and like actually, you know, not just hang out with someone once. Um, so that is why, but we're going to Manana. And the person I'm meeting today, I've been following her on Instagram for probably like years now. And she used to work at a company that I used to work with like collaborations and stuff and just like gifted free clothes and I'll do like try on hauls and all that kind of stuff. But she visited Austin a while back and she was like trying to, you know, find a place to move. She ended up moving somewhere else. I kind of can't remember where she ended up moving to, but now she actually moved to Austin. So I was like, oh my God, like we have to meet up. We've like, you know, been Instagram friends for so long. And so I'm meeting her for the first time in real life. So I'm very excited about that. Did you like yes. your coffee? Lots I, I mean, it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> I loved it. No, my chai was so good. Honestly, I always it's like so the chai good. here. No, it's and it's so freaking cute here. Yes, so, Nancy yeah. just moved here. I just moved here. And so. I'm so jealous. I was telling her that I'm jealous that you're exploring oh it gosh. from like fresh eyes. Oh my you know gosh, what I mean? it's so overwhelming. The amount of restaurants. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I'm like telling. I'm like, give Wait, me all do your you have, Like, do you have plans this weekend? Where are you going? <sighs> I don't know. So I'm supposed to be showing my cousin around. Oh, okay. I okay. have family in town. Okay. I'm just like, I have no idea where to go. I'm like, I'm new. And oh, girl, like, so you already like, know I have all the rides. That's what I was going to tell you. I'm like, okay. you're giving me all the rides? Yes. Is, like, <laughs> it's actually perfect. I was going to ask you if you have like a note um, thing. The reservations, number one. Okay. It's yeah. just like so okay. So it's bad. No, no we're, we're fine. Okay. Yeah, we can, like, we can so cut so some sorry. Okay, I'm making <laughs> I'm like, the heck, where did the sun come from? It was so disgusting this morning. It was like raining and gloomy. So gross. And now it's like blue skies. And beautiful. <laughs> Love that for me. Definitely not complaining about that. Um, I haven't been going too crazy on Amazon lately, so I'm proud of myself. But I did get two packages that I do want to unbox with you guys. I never felt like Amazon had really great sweatshirts. Like, I think the only one I really liked was the Hanes one, and that was definitely on the thinner side. But this is actually such good quality. If I found this in an aloe store like I would not think twice and I actually have well I'm wearing aloe sweatpants so I have the matching sweatshirt and it doesn't even have like the fleece line like this Amazon one does and I got it in this blue color which I know guys color is very very out of my comfort zone I felt like the blue was so pretty and perfect for spring and I also got an XL in both of these and let me show you guys this is what it looks like when it's like pulled down all the way. So I would say like a true XL, but I like to fold this part up. So that's what it looks like. Hair's a little bit crazy today, but I will link both of these sweatshirts down below. I'm very, very impressed with the quality. It is a lot later. I actually filmed the unboxing for the hoodies for TikTok too. And so I edited it, posted it. Um, and I feel like I just have not been on TikTok as much as I usually am. Like this week, I don't know. It's just like I'm kind of falling off a bit. And honestly, when you fall off for like one day or two days, it feels like you've fallen off for three months because I feel like TikTok like knows when you haven't posted for a day. And then my views are like so much lower when I don't post. But I did something I never do. And that is order Uber Eats. <laughs> I could have totally went grocery shopping, but I just really didn't want to. And I've been eating my freezer meals. Like I don't have anything fresh and I don't know. I was just over it. So I ordered some sushi, of course. I feel like the last time I ordered sushi, like through Uber Eats and stuff was during quarantine. And I told myself I would never do it again because it was like disgusting, you know, like, I got temporals. Oh shit, I definitely got temporals this time. But I got temporals the last time and it was like soggy by the time it got to me. Luckily, she just picked it up and she's gonna be here in like eight minutes. So, like, hopefully, it's not as bad as that one time because that was just so disappointing. But I'm really excited. And I got nigiri and I asked for like a side of wasabi. I feel like I'm maturing. At least my taste buds are maturing because now I'm actually craving spicy foods and i never used to be like that like i'm indian guys like i should be liking spicy foods but i feel like growing up sometimes the spices they would put in indian food would be so spicy that you can't even enjoy the food you know what i mean 
like there's not even like a flavor at that point um but i am excited for the sushi and i'm gonna watch my show revenge i got to season two and season one was really good but at the end it like climaxed where it was like how do you make more content off of this and i think they have like four seasons in total so i'm like how does that even happen but season two is like a little slow build so i don't know i've been kind of like taking a pause on watching that show i'm gonna meet the girl downstairs to get my food and then i'll show you guys what i got i am back let's do an uber eats haul i love raw fish and I love nigiri. That actually looks amazing. Okay, okay. Presentation is looking good. Eee, they really stuffed this in here. Okay, never mind. Maybe I take it back. I'll give them a pass since it was to go and like presentation can't be too cute if it's like stuffed in there, but it smells really freaking good. I actually got two tempura rolls. I think one is like just spicier than the other. I also got some wasabi, some eel sauce, spicy mayo. I'm a big sauce girl and I always have to eat my sushi with the sauces. I don't love soy sauce. I actually prefer ponzu over soy sauce, but shoot. Oh wait, I have ponzu. Yes. Hey y'all, happy Friday. Yesterday I had a little bit of an off day, so I decided not to pick up the camera, but I actually got a lot of things done. I kind of like pushed through. Um, I shot some campaigns. I went to Trader Joe's, finally got groceries so I can stop eating out. And I, well, actually I'm gonna be eating out today. Never mind, but at least I have like snacky foods. I bought like a wrap for lunch today if I wanted to eat that. Um, and then I also finally took off my nails and they feel horrible. I ordered some new Gel X extension thingies because the other ones that I got just didn't fit my nails very well. Like my nails are actually kind of tiny. So I needed tinier ones. Hopefully these fit a little bit better. So I'll probably do that today or tomorrow. It's 1031 and I'm meeting up with my friend Newman at Hank's at 11. So I have to leave soon, but I was just editing some TikToks and I wanted to tell you guys about my favorite video editing app. It's called CapCut. I know a lot of people use InShot. I just feel like CapCut is so much easier. It's just more user-friendly in my opinion. And then also, I don't know if you guys knew this, but the owners of CapCut are the same owners of TikTok. So you can actually use the same sounds on TikTok like through the CapCut app. So I really like that, but I just feel like the app itself is very like user-friendly. And I wouldn't say there's much of a learning curve, but I also like video edit kind of for a living, I guess, because I do YouTube. I also edited this week's vlog today and I didn't leave it till Sunday, so I'm very happy with myself. I also just heard that YouTube shorts are starting to be monetized. They started literally on the 1st of February. So I do want to post more shorts. Um, I have been getting a little bit better about that. I feel like I say this in every vlog, but it's just like so many things to repost on. So let's say you create like one TikTok video, then you should repost on Reels, you should repost on Pinterest, you should repost on Shorts. I feel like there's probably more. Sometimes it's a lot to remember, especially if that's not your main platform, you know? Um, but I'm gonna go head out the door. I regret not sleeping in my heatless curls last night. I did it the night before and I saw my hair last night. I was like, oh, it looks good. No, now it just like totally fell in my sleep. So definitely regretting that now. Hi vlog. <laughs> I'm with Newman. We just got some lattes. I got an iced matcha with lavender. And I got um, an iced cream hazelnut latte. I almost got cookie butter, but they were out of cookie butter for whatever reason. So we're coming back. Yeah, you have to try it. And then we got some bowls and um, wait, what did you order? I forgot. I ordered the oh. chicken sandwich. Okay, okay. That, yeah, that did sound good. Spicy. This place is so cute though. I love the little lanterns. They're adorable. I wanted to sit here and chat with you guys because I realized I didn't tell you guys my new living situation. Um, but first, lip gloss because I feel like my lips need something on them. This is the Tower 28 in the color uh, almond. And I really like it. I don't think anything can beat the lip gloss from Rode though. It's the best in salted caramel. All right, let's get into it. So we actually have some special visitors coming tomorrow, three special visitors. And that's because Ryan is moving back to Austin and I'm so excited. He's actually on his way to NOLA. He said he was like an hour outside of NOLA um, because that's where we usually stop. 
We're both from Georgia and that's kind of the halfway spot from Georgia to Austin. So if we do the drive, we have to like split it into two days. So he'll be here tomorrow and Sophie, he's bringing back Sophie, my freaking dog. And it's been a very, very sad month without her, I will say. She makes all the difference. Like honestly, if you live alone and you don't have a pet, like, well, it was kind of nice, like, cause I didn't really have to build my social schedule around her. It was kind of freeing in that way, but it was also very sad without her. Just having like a, a creature, a living being in the house when no one else is around, like is just very, very helpful. So I'm very happy to have them both back. And then Ryan's mom is also driving with him back. So she'll be here for like a couple of days, I think. Now the question is, are we staying in this apartment? And our lease actually doesn't end until November. We moved in here, I wanna say in June or maybe July, wait or maybe May, I don't even know. Basically around summertime in 2021. So then when we re-signed, they pretty much sold me on the fact that, you know, rent was going up so we should sign on for longer so we can like get that rate for a longer period of time. And I wish I didn't do that because this year we really, really wanna buy a house. I've been hearing some rumors that hopefully the housing market is gonna get better. Um, like later this year mid-year i already have a realtor i've been you know actively looking that's like one of my favorite things to do is to just like look on the keller williams app or like on zillow and so we are like just looking around not being like too serious right now just because i know breaking my lease is not cheap and that money could obviously go towards a renovation in the house that we're buying because these houses in austin most of them would probably need renovations done especially the ones in our budget um so that's also going to be hard when looking for a house because obviously we're young people we don't want to well i don't really want to go out to the burbs yet like i feel like i'm still young i want to be close to the city but obviously that's kind of hard when you live in austin and everyone wants that housing prices right now are just like crazy but we're hoping that they drop so I'm manifesting it like we are gonna buy a house this year and I'm so excited about it and it's gonna happen I was actually just telling Newman that I feel like I've fallen off of doing like Austin content like I used to do that so much on YouTube and I loved it but now thinking about it I'm like because like my exploring buddy is gone so I'm excited for him to come back so we can explore more and there's so many restaurants that I have like saved for us to go together to so get excited for that the band's getting back together it is time to tackle the dreaded pile of laundry towels everything literally i ran out of workout sets which i guess is a good thing because then i'm like going to the gym a lot but i'm like damn i really waited so long to do my laundry and i wanted to do it before ryan gets here but i found one of my new favorite tiktokers on youtube so i'm gonna be playing all of her videos like on a queue. This is her name. I'm really not sure how to pronounce it, but she has the cutest little twins and like her style is so good. And then she styles like her twins. So like cool girl. I'm like, I've never seen cooler toddlers before. And they just like literally just show off their outfits to like a trending sound and it's just so cute. And so anyways, I found her YouTube, but like the videos are like five minutes long. So I'm gonna go watch them while I tackle this. I did all the sheets this morning. So like my sheets and then obviously the guest room sheets and duvet cover. Um, I just realized that I am running out of toilet paper. So I might have to get that later tonight. I'm happy because my favorite little comfy pants are washed. I found these because I was trying to clean out the linen closet and a lot of Ryan's clothes are in there. He has a smaller closet in the guest room. So basically he just has like the two closets, but I found these in there and I stole them and it was like perfect timing because it was before the national championships. I wore them and maybe that's why they won. I'm making some changes. Hopefully Ryan is okay with them. Um, but I have to do them now before he's like here for a while and then I make the changes because then he's gonna be like watching my stuff But he hasn't been here for six months So I'm just gonna be like it's been moved although he definitely visited me a couple of times, but I Am shook at how much dust 
was on this dresser, especially on his side, because obviously no one was like over there for six months. Really sad that my jewelry thing broke. I had this in my bathroom and it broke. It's like a little hook thing, but there was kind of a lot of necklaces on it. Um, so I get it, but this is what I changed over here because these have been in hiding, aka storage. And I want to say I like had this picture printed on Etsy, but I thought this was like a nice thing to wake up to with the ocean. I changed that from like some abstract Etsy prints and hopefully it looks good. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but we took down our TV in here because we have a projector and I forgot about it. I was actually cleaning out my nightstand and it was in my nightstand, but I want to do more movie nights in here so we can just like easily move these. No big deal because I'm not like mounting them or anything. I'm just like resting them. And I also got this brilliant idea. Ryan's tees were everywhere, like his golf tees and everything. And his golf balls used to be everywhere too. I got him this a while back. I wanted him to put like all his cool golf balls that he finds in here. So he has like Georgia Masters, Avery Ranch, Riverside, Dell, Match Play, all of those cool balls. I don't even know. I'm not like a golf girl when I see that he has millions of teas laying around. It drives me nuts. I put them in this cute little candle drawer. There is still some candle in there. It's not my favorite scent, so I'm just gonna act like it's a drawer for now. And then there's like a huge scrunchie because I obviously know he probably doesn't want the wax all over his teas. So I thought that was a good idea. Even though I know he probably won't use it when he's here, but it's okay. I'll just like stuff him in there. Sounds like the people upstairs are doing a cleaning day too. I think they're vacuuming. Um, which I need to do later, but I want to put all the bedding on the beds. I think I'll make the other bed tomorrow, so I don't really have to deal with that today. Um, laundry's done. Let's get it. I still want to like organize a little bit, but I'm going to put on some real pants because I'm meeting up with my friend Mackenzie for a happy hour. Um, she doesn't have to work today. I kind of forgot why, but she was like, do you want to do something? And I was like, heck yes, I want to. Like, I'll never say no to meeting up with friends. So I'm going to go do that. And then also my gel X, I saw that it's like eight stops away. It'd be so ideal if it got here before I came home, but it says it's going to be here by 10 so i wanted to do my nails tonight because my nails feel disgusting like especially doing laundry i buffed them i filed them but the feeling of like laundry touching my actual nails it makes me feel so gross because they're so thin and i can like feel everything and it's just not a good feeling but i guess it is kind of smart to clean before I do my nails, like, cause I'll probably be using some bleach or just like shower spray. I would definitely need to clean the bathrooms and I'll do that when I get back. Mackenzie, she's playing rookie. Hello, <laughs> no work. <laughs> Look how pretty the city is. We're gonna go to El Alma across the street, right next to Terry Black's and they have some happy hour right now. So we're about to get some margs. Yes, <laughs> we're so excited. Been looking forward to this. Yes, me too. <gasps> Our song? Mackenzie. <laughs> I got a piñarita. So it's like a pina colada and a margarita. Back home and it is time to do some organizing. As you can see, this is tragic. <laughs> Underneath here is just so much random shit. I mean, there's so much like makeup that I don't use anymore that I just cannot get myself to get rid of. Also, a lot of it's used. So I'm gonna go through that and put aside things that maybe I don't wanna use and then I can, I don't know what I would do with used makeup. Usually I give it to my mom or my sister and I don't know when the next time I'm gonna be seeing either one of them. So, I mean, actually my sister is visiting me in April for the first time in over three years because I've lived here more than three years. So that'll be fun, but anyways, there's also so many uh, like little makeup bags that PR comes in and I can't get myself to get rid of them because they're so cute and I just, I just can't. So I got this little basket contraption and I thought it would be useful because it has like a little slide out basket and then also you can stack things on top and I feel like I have a lot of height in here so this will be very helpful. Yes, oh my gosh, and I have three of these, so I could use maybe like two in here and then one in um, 
the other bathroom. This is actually the guest bathroom. For some reason, it all started when I would get up earlier than Ryan and brush my teeth and I used an electric toothbrush. I pretty much always have and I just can't go back to a manual. But anyways, he was telling me that my toothbrush was so loud. And so I even got a new toothbrush, but it was still like, you know, loud. And so I just decided to like, just come in here and do my morning routine. So now all of my makeup's in here, skincare, everything. Like honestly, I really don't even use like our bedroom bathroom unless it's to shower. I don't use the guest bathroom shower, but isn't that kind of funny? <laughs> like even though he wasn't here for like six months, I still used this bathroom as my primary bathroom. But then that makes it a little bit difficult when we have guests. Sometimes I'll just like pack up all my makeup and put it in like a makeup bag and then just bring it to my bathroom and like skincare and everything like that so it's not the worst but anyways let's get to organizing and sorting everything out It's 12.30 a.m. and I have been cleaning, organizing. I feel like ever since I got home, I have been on a roll and I'm so proud of myself. I even put the duvet cover on my sheets and everything. Like I'm ready to go to bed because I'm so tired. I've been like standing and like organizing and hovering over my back. Definitely is feeling that. And I also just did one hand, but oh my God, guys, I think I'm actually getting so good at them. They look a little long, so I might file them down a little bit. Um, I think I'm gonna do the other side tomorrow. I'm just so tired right now. Oh, my back hurts, like I said. So we're gonna take a pause on this, um, but I'm using Beetles Gel Polish in the color A412. And this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a warm beige. I think it's so pretty. I think I might wanna do some nail art. I just love a good nail art on my thumb i'm not really sure what i can even do but um we might try it out tomorrow i'm gonna end the vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog it's my last week of living alone because ryan comes tomorrow and i'm not really sure exactly what time but i definitely still have a little bit of cleaning to do so i think i'm gonna get up early and knock that out i'm so excited to see sophie and obviously ryan but i miss sophie so much she definitely needs a haircut though because Ryan's been snapchatting me her, but she's still really cute. I'm really excited. I know you guys love seeing both of them in my vlogs. If you guys want to see more real-time content, you can follow me on Instagram, so underscore gnarly without the G, and also TikTok, same at name, so underscore gnarly without the G. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!